Welcome to the CrossFit Math Podcast. Welcome back, beautiful people. Thank you for tuning in to episode five. This podcast, we are talking a little bit more about business stuff and who we are to our core. Thank you so much for listening. And if you don't mind giving us a rating and a review on all the platforms, we would greatly appreciate it. Let's get right to it. The glitch is fixed. Testing, testing. We are podcasting. One, two, three. <laughs> All right. Welcome back, guys. Oh, we're not testing. Not testing We're just anymore. going straight into it. The button has been clicked, my love. Okay. We must hop in. The light switch has been turned on, and we're podcasting. Amazing. Best time of the week. Let's not test it and just hope for the best. <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome back to another episode number five. Episode five. Damn. Damn. And we still have things to talk about. It's crazy. All right. Let's get right into our banter topic of the week. Oh, here we go. Surprise moment for me. Which actually was kind of a surprise for me. I had to search it up because I was not very imaginative in the process. So Google may have helped me choose this one, but I thought it would go well. Are you ready? Ready. If you could be the best at any sport in the world, which sport would you choose? CrossFit. (laughs) <laughs> you lies <laughs> you would choose crossfit yeah oh wow okay tell me why i would not but tell me why you would choose crossfit because <laughs> we own a crossfit gym i feel like that's got to be good for business <laughs> yeah that's interesting you don't care about our business <laughs> i absolutely care about our business but i was not expecting you to say that what the hell would you choose what could possibly I, be more important than CrossFit? <laughs> be careful with your answer. We're wearing CrossFit Max t-shirts right now. I would definitely say probably NFL or maybe even... Absolutely not. Under no even. circumstances would I ever let you play football. Yeah. I mean, if I could be the best in the world? Yeah, that just means you're probably getting the most injured and the most messed up. No, come on. For those Absolutely you, not. For those I would you, not allow it. For those of you listening, I'm a huge Tom Brady fan. So if I could be Tom Brady for most of my life, I think I would be pretty happy. Uh, No. All right. Well, you're wrong. You picked wrong. (laughs) I question everything about our relationship at this point. I think also like financially, it would have a massive difference. I mean, you're the best in CrossFit in the world. Have you not seen Matt Fraser's new gym? Best at CrossFit in the world. And you would make, I don't know. Maybe four hundred thousand dollars a year, five maybe five hundred thousand a year. Uh, let's say max one million dollars per year. You're the best football player. Actually, the biggest contract in NFL was signed. I think last week. It's like the player is making forty five million dollars a year. Yeah, but what it cost benefit outweighed your yeah the lifestyle different. Your life was literally going to be shorter because of it. Well, Tom Brady would disagree. He's going to live until he's 130. Okay, but Tom Brady doesn't do anything fun. (laughs) Well, all right. You're wrong. I can't believe you didn't pick CrossFit. I'm so disappointed. (laughs) Okay, let's move into today's topic. Or before we hop into our topic, we're going to talk about our client win. Pew, 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 pew. Of the week. Pew, 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 pew. You want to tell him? Do the, the sound effects? Our Here we client go. of the week this is week is Kevin. Kevin. Wow, we said that wow. together. You it's want, like we planned it. You want to say why? You want me to say why? Um, well, I could start. You, t- you tell them some of the reasons. I'm going to tell say the some others. of the amazing things that Kevin has done just this week because there's just so many things that we could talk about. So this week, yesterday, he got his first bar muscle up, Hell which yeah. is something to be very proud of. And it wasn't even... A struggle he just flew up there like a boss so that was super impressive and he did multiple so definitely wasn't a fluke either so 10 on 10 for his dedication to his training actually in the morning before the group class so he came at 4 p.m. but in the morning he wrote to us on Instagram and told us like today's the day I'm gonna get my first bar muscle up and I just love the confidence I loved the attitude it shows that when he woke up in the morning, he was already thinking about his 4 p.m. CrossFit class. So yep. that's super ex- exciting. And then he showed up and he put his money where his mouth was and mm-hmm. he executed after 
one attempt. So yeah. super, super impressive, something to be super proud of. I'll let you talk for a bit, but I have another reason why I love Kevin so <laughs> well, much this week he wrote, um, to discuss. He wrote to us pretty early in the morning, and then I coached the 9 a.m., I coached the 12 p.m., and then I also coached the 4 p.m., and by the time he got to the 4 p.m., my energy was just through the roof because all day I just had this hype being built up that he was right. going to get this, this his first ever muscle up. So when he came, he crushed it. He went. He grabbed a band because we were practicing bar muscle ups yesterday. So he grabbed a band. He grabbed a box, and I was like, "Well, Kev, like, what are you let, doing? What are you doing? Like, let's go. We're going for the for the muscle up." He's like, "Okay, you want me just to do what do you want me to do?" I said, "Well, hop up there and go for a muscle up." And he got it first try. So cool. Which was epic. So, And I also really, really love the fact that he woke up in the morning and just wrote that message. So, yeah. yeah. Love that. Another reason that we love Kevin so much is for his just general participation in the community. This is someone who will introduce himself to a new face in the class right away, make them feel welcome. He's going to make sure everybody gets a high five at the end of the workout. He's just really community oriented and mm -hmm. everybody loves him everyone knows who he is he's definitely not a, a wallflower you know he makes himself really participate in the community and he really goes above and beyond for example this week one of our our members sasha unfortunately got a flat tire did uh, not know about it <laughs> did not know about it and at the end of the workout kevin spotted her flat tire and then proceeded to change her flat tire and put on her uh spare tire for her at the end of at the end of a long workout and a long day he really made it his mission to just be a good guy and lend a helping hand so i feel like every everybody needs a kevin in their life that is going above and beyond in the community and that's just this week alone we have like a long history with kevin and his mm -hmm. and his lovely wife danielle we've known them for a couple of years now we met mm -hmm. them training together in another gym and they would their massive reason as to how we are where we are today mm -hmm. they really were one of the first people to super believe in us kevin and his wife approached us early on saying like you know we think you guys should really open your own gym i think that you would do a really good job and and just believing in us and helping us get the wheels going and you mm -hmm. know we had a couple of meetings he really it really held our hand and uh, tried to give us a little bit of guidance uh, in the process of starting to open the gym. And that was very instrumental in getting our feet off the ground. Yeah, for sure. So. Those meetings really helped. He just helped pass his guidance on from his business career so far. And, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So massive shout out to you, Kevin. Job. Thank you so much for being who you are. We're grateful to know you. We're grateful to have you in our community and keep crushing it. Mm -hmm. And one thing I'll also add that I really love and I noticed that he does with the community yes. is when he walks into the gym, he goes up to every single person and gives them like a props or a high five. Absolutely. Which is so cool. So like people will be on the bike and he'll go up and just give him a props or he'll come up to me and give me a high five and that stuff is the small little things that go like a long way. Yeah, it really changes it from just any old gym to like the specialness that is CrossFit Max. Yep, yeah. So that kind of leads pretty good into our topic of conversation today. What are we talking which about today? Last week was probably my favorite podcast we recorded. We talked about the community and the amazing people in our walls and how, yeah. you know, just introducing yourself to someone new is just so powerful and could lead to so many great things in your life. But today we are talking about the culture that CrossFit Max is trying to set, trying to mm -hmm. preach, talking about pillars today, things We're that we live by. Why, yeah, our mission. All, yeah, all the, all the good stuff. All the things that make CrossFit Max unique, make it us who we are, and, and the principles that you and I keep in our head with every decision that we make. Every mm -hmm. single thing that we do fits in this mission everything yeah. that we do every decision that we make every person we hire every action we take every workout that's programmed is designed to fit under this mission that we've created under crossfit max and it really fuels the entire business yeah. and it was one of the first things that we did when we started the mm -hmm. process of yeah. opening the gym which actually started about a year ago today yeah we just about a year ago we're this month we're i guess almost hitting the 12 month mark the one year mark of being an across a crossfit affiliate right so we just got the renewal saying by the way on january 10th your auto you mean renewal june, june uh, sorry june 10th our auto renewal will be setting in you've officially hit one year 
Yes. So that at the end of May in 2022, so last May 2022, is when we got the final approval from the bank for our business loan, yeah. which was the last kind of piece of the puzzle we needed before we could <laughs> sign the lease and really commit to uh, opening the gym. And then basically it was all full steam ahead from that point forward, yeah. which is when we had to do our affiliation in order to secure our name and, and make all of those uh, following business decisions. And in and around that time is when we sat down together at the kitchen table. My dad actually came and helped us a little bit to really just talk about, okay, well, now we're planning to open a gym. How are we going to be different? What is the intention that we have with opening our gym? And, mm -hmm. and what is our mission? What is our why? And we spent a long time brainstorming what are the significant pillars that make us who we are what are the things that we we stand for that we believe in so that was super that was a really fun process for me mm -hmm. and i think something else to note is that we've built on that mission statement Absolutely. as we as we've gone across and i think the last couple of weeks we've really like focused on it a lot more yeah refined it refined it yeah tweaked it a little bit before little fine tuning before it was kind of a mission statement more as like a, a business i would say yeah, yeah. the original mission statement that we came up with back last summer when we were starting to open was really like, uh, what is the goal of opening the business mm -hmm. versus now we've tried, we're have we trying to refine a mission statement that can be like a one-liner that every coach knows, that every person who's in the community starts to learn. They hear it all the time. We are going to really focus on, on sharing this sort of one-liner mission statement, mm -hmm. which we'll share with you in a minute of who we are with everybody. Anytime someone work, walks into the gym and they're curious about the gym, that's gonna be the first thing I say to them. Mm -hmm. So do you wanna to read to them the old mission statement? Yeah. And then I'll tell them the new mission statement. Amazing, so let me pull it up because it's a little bit long-winded and I'm gonna read it to you guys. This is the mission statement we came up with back last summer when we started opening the no, gym. Before last summer, wasn't it before? Before when we had to make our business plan, when we applied oh, yeah, for the loan. Oh so yeah, it's so true. Actually, like... before we even started the process, we had this in mind. So it's almost been like two years, I would say. Yeah, it's been a long time. Okay, so here it is, here it goes. At CrossFit Max, we value inclusivity, sustainable fitness, and fun. We provide our members with a unique welcoming experience and a safe environment with intelligent coaching, programming, and a supportive community. All of our employees are given the chance to be innovative and grow an enriching career. Yeah. Damn. Which I'm is... like really impressed by this mission statement. <laughs> like every time I read it, I'm like, yeah, we came up with that. That's impressive. It's yeah. so cool. It's very cool. There's a lot to unpack in that mission statement. I think like the major hitters are the things that we used in our condensed version. So we mm -hmm. should share that version. Yeah. So, well, one thing we wanted to do is we wanted to be able to repeat the mission statement a lot easier and have yeah. it a little bit more to our core values, even though all of those things are still very are much the mission of the gym, the mission of the business. We as people wanted to create a mission statement that we believe to our core and it's very easily repeatable. Yeah, we want everyone to be able to regurgitate the mission, not just employers or, or us, the owners. We want mm -hmm. our community members to be like, oh, like the mission of CrossFit Max is, and you tell them, babe, tell them Here the mission. Is. So at CrossFit Max, we change lives through sustainable movement, balanced nutrition, and a growth mindset. Oh, I get goosebumps. I'm so <laughs> proud when I hear these things. I hear these words. I just feel like it resonates so much with us. Mm -hmm. I truly believe everything that's that we preach. I, we truly practice this. I think we really do embody that mission with everything we do. The program that you make, you think about it weeks in advance of where we're going. Mm -hmm. the, the program is designed here at CrossFit Max that you should be able to do it six days a week and mm -hmm. not... Uh, get overtrained or overworked mm -hmm. or overstimulate a certain muscle group. Like everything is super intelligently programmed in a safe way that you could work out six days a week. I'm living proof. I work out here six days a week and I, I'm i just constantly improving. Mm -hmm. Well, let's break it down. Let's break down like the entire mission statement piece by piece here. Okay, so I just sort of jumped right into the... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just got too excited, but I just yeah. jumped... I, that, what I just talked about, I was just... It, I was really dissecting the sustainable movement piece. Yes, exactly. That's yeah. so, the first kind of... 
No, that's like the second big piece. The second big piece. The first piece is the changing of lives. Yes. We have people come in here and we hope that people come in here wanting to be better than they were yesterday. And I genuinely believe everybody who walks through our doors and decides to become part of our community's life will be changed forever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and even myself as a person, whatever I do today, I want to be just a little bit better than yesterday. Absolutely. I'm not looking to change my entire life around, but if I can be 1% better tomorrow or today than I was yesterday in anything, right? then I'm happy. And you're constantly work, you're a work in progress. Mm -hmm. I think that's the big piece. Yep. It's not overnight change. Exactly. Yeah. But it's a lifetime of change. Exactly. Yeah. And what happens inside the gym isn't just the 60 minutes of your group class. Mm -hmm. It's how you bring with you what you learn inside these walls inside CrossFit Max and apply it to everything that you do. Absolutely. Yeah. So life so, changing. So yeah. So changing lives. That's the first one. And we want to be the lead on that. We want to be able to help people do that. So that's why it was number one. Yeah, that's number the most, I feel like the most important thing is that yeah. if you trust us and if you join our gym, we promise to have influence on your entire life. Exactly, yeah. The second one was sustainable movement, oh. <laughs> which Susie... We obviously haven't talked about yet. <laughs> and I did not totally just jump the gun and word vomit all of the things I was so excited about. So, yeah. I, but I also jumped the gun on that because Brandon is like the most humble human being in the world. And so I wanted to really take the opportunity to gas up how much work he puts into the program. Oh, shucks. Thanks, babe. He doesn't just wake up in the morning and is like, oh, you know what? Let's just do some squats let's today because that's cool. Let's just do you some know? random stuff. <laughs> the, the man has a plan. And mm -hmm. anyone who has worked out for here, here for a few weeks will know immediately that you already see improvement. There's so much logic and intelligence behind your programming. I've never, ever had so much improvement in my personal fitness than since I started doing your program. And I, I know for a fact after talking to many of our members that their experience is the same. Thanks, babe. So I was just, <laughs> you're killing it. Okay, sustainable so movement. <laughs> honestly, all you have to do is join our gym and we'll take care of that piece for you. Yeah. You, there's nothing on your end required other than showing up. Yeah. And to elaborate it for the people who don't really know, some people might not actually understand, but in like simple terms, I'm not going to program 300 squats on Monday and then expect you to come in on Tuesday and then do like really heavy back squats. The program is set for you to be able to come in on the Monday and not have to worry about, you know, too sore, for, too sore for Tuesday. So sore on Tuesday that you, you have to use your legs again. And, Correct. And I think the old school CrossFit mentality was kind of like this, put these randomized workouts that are absolutely disgusting, really long, tons of volume, a lot of intensity and just like do that every single day for five Until to six days Until you physically break week. down and yeah. then you need two months to recover off yeah. of your injuries. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Injuries happen, mm -hmm. overuse of certain muscles, imbalances happen. So there's a lot that I put into the program on making sure that someone is capable of coming in five to even six days a week if they chose to. Absolutely. And I think something else that's really exciting about the program that we have here at CrossFit Max, and again, I'm able to gas it up because it's hard for Brennan to talk <laughs> about how awesome he is, but something that's like super unique and different here than at other CrossFit gyms or other thing, other programs that I've seen or experienced myself is that the, the goal is to improve and to learn new skills. So there's usually a component of the class that is strength or skill based and not just always a big sweaty Metcon or a big sweaty workout. And there's a part of the class that gives you a chance to try new things so you can actually improve. Mm -hmm. Whereas oftentimes things like muscle ups that we're talking about with Kevin, uh, it's unattainable for an athlete like myself who doesn't know how to do it because there was never an opportunity to learn. Whereas mm -hmm. now we spend the first 20 minutes of our class yesterday learning different progressions and I'm already seeing such an improvement over the last three or four weeks of doing muscle up progressions, something that I would have never done at a different gym where their programming isn't catered to learning new skills as well as using those skills. Mm -hmm. So very cool, very yeah. exciting. Stay Sustainable movement is definitely one of our major pillars here at CrossFit Max, and I think we are killing that aspect of our business. One of the models we say here is movement, movement is medicine equals medicine. Yeah. So 
anyways second part balanced nutrition no, no, we did one and two right one was yeah. changing lives two yeah. was oh, sustainable yes. technically third one yeah so third part would be balanced nutrition yeah exactly this is your jam this is my jam <laughs> so balanced nutrition is looking at like the appropriate balance between healthy and less healthy right um exercise versus resting macronutrients and micronutrients just really balance eating really healthy during the you know most of the week most of the week and then you know you want to go and have a drink or two with your friends at night on a friday night then go for it mm -hmm. so living your life enjoying your life but keeping sort of that principle in mind of most of the time you're eating the better or healthier food options. Exactly, yeah. Not looking at food so black and white, good and bad. It's really like there's foods that you should be eating more of, there's right. foods that you should be eating less of, um, and just trying to balance all aspects of nutrition. Yeah, no one food is a villain. It's just about prioritizing other certain foods over others and yeah. living your life and enjoying your life and not not necessarily totally cutting out a food group or yeah. you know going like a keto diet or a paleo diet <laughs> no no keto diets no paleo diets just sustainable balanced nutrition making healthy choices when mm -hmm. possible and when the pizza's in front of you enjoying that pizza guilt-free exactly yeah and just finding the appropriate food balance that just helps your body thrive mm -hmm what someone else likes to eat and what helps them thrive might be completely different from someone else. Very true. But there are definitely, you know, basic food principles that can be applied to most people. And it's just about finding that balance in between. So basically here at CrossFit Max, we're never going to tell you, you should never eat that or you shouldn't eat that or you must eat this. <laughs> it's really a question of finding the thing that works for you that you can commit to. Absolutely. Yeah. Except for vegetable oil. Cut that shit out. <laughs> yeah. Except for those highly <laughs> processed oils. Stop eating them right now. Just kidding. Immediately. Just kidding. Just don't have it inside your house. Ever. But yeah. <laughs> Under any circumstances. And the fourth part of our mission statement. Part four, our fourth pillar. You is, talk about this one. Growth mindset. Yes, is the growth mindset. And You're this, very good at this. This is so important. And I, I really see that we're doing a good job of this because I believe that everyone in our community is just oozing this growth mindset and we've had a chance to talk about a lot of things related to this already on the podcast and I think like the biggest comparison is just having that positive approach mm -hmm. in the face of challenges yeah. and instead of putting yourself in a box and giving yourself a limiting belief you approach things with a can-do attitude mm -hmm. and really with that can-do attitude you allow yourself so much room for improvement and growth and just all around good feelings and that's just so 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 important to living a happy life you know not just having a positive gym experience or a good workout but just a life in general like your entire life is going to feel so much more full of joy if you can approach it with always trying to be a little bit better always believing that you can and finding solutions and working towards your goals i think that kind of encompasses all the things that come to mind for me when i think about growth mindset yeah wanna... no that was pretty good i don't think i want to add a single word to that it was perfect <laughs> i would say though so you touched on one thing and that's the person who says they can versus yes. my least favorite word in the whole world which was can't don't say that <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what I was telling the members this week is I need to put on the whiteboard the can't list and the people who say can't. It's like the naughty just, list. Like, yeah. Just start. That does not come into your house, Junior. Yeah. You said the c word. Just like, just put like punishment for this week for the people who say can't. Like ten calories on the on the bike erg for every time they say that word, <laughs> and then just just see how long that list gets or. Yeah. You know, or I guess how short that list gets because more and more people are correcting yes. themselves. And you know what I find, which is so enjoyable about this podcast, is even people take it like a step further and like milk it a little bit and turn it mm -hmm. into a little funny joke. The yeah. other day we were setting up to do a really hard workout and one of our, our members and one of our good friends, uh, Melis, was just as a joke, she was like, repeat after me. Oh, yeah. I can. And then <laughs> everyone goes, I can. And then she goes, I will. <laughs> And everyone goes, I will. And it's hilarious because she's just 
She's just taking it to a funny place about yes. how much we drill in this positive mindset. But it just got everyone positive and happy. And now it's just like a running running joke in the class, but yeah. it's a positive joke. So it's still serving its purpose. Yeah. And and having that in the back of your head, even if it's just in a humorous way, when you're mm -hmm. suffering in the workout, it just makes it so much more doable. Yeah, she just yelled that out and then Coach Justin was like, all right, 10 seconds. <laughs> and we were all in stitches. We were laughing and now it's just become a running joke in everything in our life. Even Brandon yeah. and I are cleaning at home and I'm like, repeat after me. Yeah. I can. But I just love it. It's so good. It, it just shows so at what point we're actually successful in building this growth mindset in the mm -hmm. culture of CrossFit Max because it's not just coming from me and you. It's not just mm -hmm. coming from Sean and Justin, our amazing coaches. It's coming from the community to each other mm -hmm. and that's where you change you make a big difference that's yeah. you know it's working when the community is holding each other accountable with or without our input mm -hmm. yeah that's really good and we're not dictators here it's a <laughs> it's a democracy <laughs> unless you say can't in which case we punish you and you put you in jail yeah exactly and it, <laughs> crossfit yeah. jail the biker yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, growth mindset is just the complete opposite of a fixed mindset. The fixed mindset is the person that right. doesn't want to take on challenge, who says that they can't do something, that their first thought when asked something is no. It's just somebody who really becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Yeah. The person with the fixed mindset is going to prove themselves right. Yeah. And they're going to prove themselves right by under -attaining. Yeah. So, don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so that's a wrap for this podcast. Damn, this we... was fun. I, I feel like we just started. I have so much to say. Like, I just want to talk on this topic <laughs> even more. We believe in this mission, this why. We believe in building this culture because it is our core values. And yes. we're really starting to see it being implicated throughout our, our entire And it's fun to gym. be able to take this moment to sort of share with everyone, especially because most of our listeners are within our community. And for them to hear that there is so much much purpose behind everything that we do as the owners and we really do change people's lives through sustainable movement balanced nutrition and a growth mindset whoop, whoop. and and we're watching each other we're watching our community do the same mm -hmm. it's not just us everyone's doing it and it's yeah. awesome and it's super fun to be part of yeah and i think the major difference is the community are the people that come to our gym but the culture is what the people are doing outside of our gym. Mm -hmm. Like how these people how are they living. represent. Also, I feel like the culture is how they represent CrossFit Max in their life. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Let's end it there. I have the chills. <laughs> this is so exciting. I love, I love the culture that we're creating and the community that we, we have representing us. I feel very fortunate to have this community Thank around you, us. Thank you, all of you. You are amazing. We love you. And, and also, I would like to say for all of you who have listened to the podcast and come up to Susie or myself and talked about the podcast, we appreciate it so much. Yes, um, that's definitely one of my favorite parts about recording the podcast is yeah. uh, people talking to us about things that we talked about in the podcast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And we talked about community last, oh, no, it wasn't last one. It was one of our podcasts where we had Kathleen as our client win of the week. Yes. And one, I'll end it on this note here, but she came in yesterday and she said when she did the workout the other day, there was people that she didn't even know come up to her and say, hey, Kathleen, and give her a high five during the workout. And she's like, I've never met these people in my life, but it's just because just they the listen podcast. to the podcast that they know who i am no way that's so, so cool yeah, she's so, the best so we appreciate all of you listening thank you so much for tuning in we'll, yeah this is episode five wrapping up and we'll see you in the next episode see ya, see ya.